Hey, this is Daniel from Boojook Productions. This is a voiceover because the audio for this video was corrupted. Wah wah. But anyways, I'm not exactly sure what I was going to call this. Basically, it's what I'm bringing to a trip. If you guys follow my Instagram, you already know I already went on the trip. But if not, you should t check it out and follow it. Because you can get see a little bit of my daily lives as well as the pictures that I take. But uh, basically, I'm going to show you guys what I put into my carry-on. Not my check-in bag, but carry-on, which is my equipment, my camera equipment, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and empty it right now. So starting off, I didn't take out my tripod, but that is a Joby Gorillapod. Basically, they are uh, kind of tiny tripods that you can put on tables, things like that. You can stick your camera on it. Uh, I also use it kind of like as a second arm for balancing, kind of like a stabilizer. But they're pretty good, and they're they can pretty durable, and they can bend. Uh, next up that I have is my laptop. I use an HP laptop, pretty standard one, nothing too expensive. Mostly for file management as well as for um, other work things, as well as schoolwork and. For the trip, I also play League of Legends on the game on it because you can play that game on a potato. But uh, I also did some schoolwork for it as well, so pretty basic to bring just on any type of trip. It's always good to bring a laptop, um, just in case. Uh, I went ahead and opened up the bag itself. Uh, this is an actual camera bag, so um, it's meant to hold this type of equipment in it. But first off, I'll have my Canon T5i here. It's a pretty uh, normal camera. It's a DSLR. It's not too expensive. It doesn't have as many bells and whistles, but it still gets the job done. I don't take too many pictures usually. I mostly am more of a filmmaker, video producer. So it's pretty good for filming. Uh, it's pretty easy to use, and it's all I really need. The only thing I would really like is a mirrorless camera because they tend to be a lot cleaner and nicer to use, uh, but they're a little too expensive. But we're going to go and put that there in that little slot. Next up is my GoPro accessories. This can be a head mount or the mounts to a tripod and, or different lenses for my case. I'll put it there. Next is a power bank. Uh, I tend to bring this on longer trips it's good to have for you know charging especially when you're going out for a long time outside um, outside of your place I didn't really use it for the trip uh, I have found no reason to my phone is good battery I also use sunglasses these are not sunglasses these are like construction glasses but they they work uh, next I have a gaming mouse that I bring it's a wired one I just like using a wired a little bit better than the wireless but I do carry a wireless one but I just felt like a longer trip doesn't need batteries things like that wired ones are pretty good and I had a spare that I could bring with me next is my lavalier mic this is the lav mic I usually stick on my phone for audio uh, I don't have anything special for it but it's, it's there so uh, I probably should have used the audio for the from that for the actual video let's see oh it's going to be my masks that i bring you know due to covid you had to bring some masks so i brought like three masks i brought a hand uh, hand sanitizer a few hand wipes i also brought gloves as well in my check-in bag uh, next i always bring a cliff bar something good to eat like at the airports or snacking just in general or if you want to go on a hike it's pretty good to bring all right next up is my water bottle this one, this teal blue here, is a nice thermos to have. It's a little small, it's 8 to 10 ounces, but it keeps the job done, and I don't drink that much, so this is a perfect size for me. I'll go ahead and put it right there. Next up are my Booking.com uh, case for my earbuds. I use it just to, for sleep or for uh, if I don't want to use my actual headphones for them. Next, I bring my charger and as well as my battery for my Canon T5i. I only have one of them, so it's pretty good to bring the whole thing. Next up are, is my Polaroid. This Polaroid is good when it's really sunny. You can um, 
switch it on there but I don't really use that as much because I don't take too many pictures anyways next up is where I put my lavalier usually but this time I actually used it kind of like as a coin purse where I put up quarters I actually had to pay for parking using quarters so that actually was good uh, to bring and next up is my GoPro my GoPro Hero 4 I've had this since about 2015 uh, it's been pretty good actually it's been durable the case itself is original the mounts are usually all original so it's been pretty good it's good to use if I don't want to use it on my phone or if I want a really wide angle it's also easy to carry like in your pocket so in certain certain situations it's pretty good to use I also have my regular lens I think it's like an 18 point 18 millimeter to 55 something like that as I said I don't really know exactly. I'm not a photographer. I'm a videographer. So this is all good for me. Um, I don't usually bring a pancake lens. I don't usually bring telephoto lens. So I tend to just bring this guy here. Works well. Easy to use. Has a small zoom function. Um, and yeah. Next I also bring is my QC35 Bose headphones. These are great. Noise cancelling. I also bring my passport with me in that just as something to use if you know things happen like your ID gets stolen good to have anyways in general uh, your standard laptop charger I just bring it in there put it out there yep next up is going to be my glasses case I tend to put random things in it instead of my glasses such as cough drops but I also have my glass cleaner and stuff just to get to have to put and lastly in my check-in here I brought a whiskey glass for my friend who I was staying at with and I thought hey he likes whiskey so I might as well get him a really nice official whiskey glass and uh, that slot will also be later used when coming back to put my souvenirs and then this is my check-in bag I also wanted to show you guys what I didn't bring as terms of my camera equipment so uh, what I first started out with is this camera monitor if you saw Las Vegas you know I brought it with me but basically I can switch it around put a battery in there it's a different battery than the others and uh, you can go ahead and kind of switch it around like a selfie <clears throat> and uh, you could slide it onto your camera and use it as a an extra monitor or a bigger monitor to shoot videos. Next up is my telephoto lens. This one uh, it's pretty beefy, it's pretty big, so it's kind of hard to put in. But as I said, I don't really use the telephoto lens, so uh, it's only good for really picture taking. Next up is my chest mount for my GoPro. I don't really use it, it's just there. Uh, Next up is my GoPro's selfie stick. This one I actually broke during my mini golf video, but it's still very good. I think I'm gonna have to buy a new one, but it does come as a tripod, um, kind of a tripod-esque, so it's very multifunctional. So definitely buying a new one. And lastly, I do bring chapstick as an essential as well as my toiletries and everything like that that goes into my uh, check-in bag there. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the phone mount. So I was filming on my phone, but I stick that mount as an accessory to my actual tripod. My tripod is a slick tripod, good for travel, pretty lightweight. But uh, yeah, that's basically everything that I brought to my trip. You will see my trip videos coming out in the next couple weeks here. And uh, thank you very much again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next week.